Hello, everybody. It's Kate Richberg. Janice just texted me and said, you could hear me. So I was like, oh, well, then I guess I better get this show started. Sorry, I forgot to mute my camera. I was just making sure that everything was a go back here. Sometimes my equipment doesn't want to connect, but you all are here. It is Friday, September 1st. That means it's monthly mix day. Uh, we um, launched some really great seed beads earlier this week. Um, I think you folks are really going to love those. I'm going to kind of give you an up close and personal um, look at those guys. Um, and we're going to have a really great day. It looks like so many people have jumped on. I'm looking to see who's here. Um, so many comments. We're going live everywhere. Um, it's a little warm here. So let me, I'm going to take this sweater off. Actually, um, I had the AC on, but with all this running around, it got a little bit warm. Uh, our Gita is here. Hello, Gita from across the miles. It's great to see you. Um, hello, hello. Happy September. Um, Lori's here. Happy free tip Friday, everyone. Janice is here. Um, saying hello to everyone. Uh, Dawn is having a perfect day in Southwest Michigan. Um, my mom is here, which is great because we're going to have a giveaway in, at the end. I'm going to talk to you about that. But we've got so much to talk about today before we get to my project. And as you know, Free Tip Friday is always... Um, a little more free form. Okay. So I'm going to be a little more free form with you folks today. So as I take a bracing cup of coffee, um, as you know, a, a lot of you heard, I think through the, um, bead vine, the bead grapevine, um, about our friends at Tierra cast and about how, uh, they are closing at the end of the year. Uh, and if you haven't heard it, well, you're hearing it now. Um, through a variety of reasons, right? Um, I spoke with Julie, her very own self, um, from um, uh, from Tierra Cast. She's been our Tierra Cast rep for almost as long as we've used Tierra Cast, probably as long, 40 years or so, right? So um, it was quite a blow. We all got the information. Uh, it came out on uh, Wednesday afternoon, I guess it was. Um, and we, uh, 
the email went out to all of the bead stores, all of the wholesalers, all at the same time. Janice uh, texted me and said, did you hear about TerraCast? And I thought, oh my God, is there a, a fire up in Sonoma or something? But no, um, it's uh, they are closing after 45 years in business. A lot of things uh, contributed to this closure. One, business supply chain, the materials to make those beautiful pieces have gone up so much and the way to source them has also become rather difficult to source the metals for sure. Um, the company is aging. The owners are aging. The equipment is aging. Everything's aging, right? Um, and so the, the owners are in their seventies, right? And so there are things, you know, behind the scenes, I think that could have just, that could have happened or not. Uh, but this decision was made. Uh, so they're going to be closing at the end of the year. Um, with, uh, who knows though, I asked Julie, I said, could it possibly be that Tierra Cast gets bought or something? So they're not adverse to any, um, ideas like that. But for now, what we know is that Tierra Cast is closing at the end of the year. Uh, we wish them all the good fortune uh, all the luck, all of the um, well wishes go with them. The thing about, so this is a great question, um, Don. I love their post earring pieces too. Um, and can't someone buy the business? Well, the thing about, they manufacture, do all of their manufacturing right here in the US, which is amazing that they've been able to do that for 45 years. The thing is sourcing, like I know you all love the niobium ear wires, right? Niobium wire is so hard to find, but stay tuned about that for a second. Super hard to find. So where we used to, especially pre-pandemic or like the mid 2010s, like 2015, stuff like that, before the rise of all of these smartphones and things that use a lot of metals that we also use in the jewelry business, um, those resources are going to different things now, not to jewelry. Also, finding a caster in the US to cast is almost next to impossible. You can find them, super expensive. Um, not a lot of people know how to cast anymore, right? The way that those pieces are made, it's the way that Cynthia and Greg make them at Green Girl, you know. They make rubber molds, rubber molds out of investment, shoot the pewter into them. They need to be cast, they need to be taken out, they need to be cleaned. I mean, it's a really, really time intensive process. So um, let's all put our collective heads together, our collective goodwill together um, and send Tierra Cast some good vibes. I mean, who knows? Maybe there'll be like a late ninth inning, you know, pinch hitter that comes in and can take some of the, um, you know, most popular items, right. And reproduce them. Janice and I, uh, with this news have, we've jumped on it, right. We've talked to some of our other suppliers. I mean, we lived, I mean, it's hard, it's crazy to think about, but you know, the first like 20 years of our business or 10 years of our business or whatever, we carried some Tierra cast, but they didn't have the vast selection, pardon me, that they do now. So, you know, we have great resources, deep resources in this business. A lot of our wholesalers that we've talked to already are like, okay, what do you folks need? So it's, it's going to be rough to see our friends close, but it's certainly not the end of the bead business. It's not a death knell. It's not, you know, let's take this creative. I mean, it's like a death in the bead world family, right? For this company, but we're going to move forward and we're going to continue to be creative. We take this opportunity as looking at, well, how can we be creative, right? How can we create? How can we fill those holes? You know, we use Tierra Cast. I'm sitting, I'm looking at Tierra Cast here. My third Thursday earring is an homage to Tierra Cast that's coming out in September. So we will source new product for you. We will have new product. We'll design new product. So fear not. Our creativity will march forward. So I'll keep you all uh, in the loop about what's happening. And 
what's going on on that front. There was a second thing that also happened on Wednesday that I want to acknowledge. Um, now I didn't know her, but she in the bead world, many of you, um, know her, um, from the bead world, uh, Wendy Whitman, who was a, uh, a, a YouTube, um, uh, bead, uh, in the YouTube world of beads demonstrated, uh, did things, great things with like Sam's bead shop and, and, uh, soft flex and really great, great work. I knew her vaguely in passing from bead shows. I didn't know her well. Um, but she passed away this past Wednesday in an unfortunate accident. So, uh, her YouTube channel, I'm sure Janice, you can go in and, and, um, link the YouTube, but we here, uh, at the bead world, uh, really, um, wish her family well and are very sorry for, uh, for the loss, not only to her family, but to all of us here in the bead world. It's hard when we lose someone who, um, you know, shares their creativity so unselfishly. So, um, we're thinking about you, Wendy, we're thinking about your family and we're so, so, so sorry for your loss. On that note, I want to turn this around a little bit. Two things. Some other things happened this week. Great things. Amazing things. I don't know if you follow sports in the sport world. Simone Biles, our Simone, our Shikari Richardson. Two women athletes who in their last showings for the Olympics and before the Olympics were, for whatever reasons, couldn't um, participate or needed a mental break to participate, right? But those bad ass bitches, I'm just going to say it, came back this week. So not only did they, are they at the top of their game, they are representing the U.S. Simone, just here in San Jose, that way. San Jose is that way. Did an amazing routine. If you haven't seen it, go on YouTube. It's there. Shikari, that girl ran with her nails running for home, right? And she did it in the face of people, you know, naysaying and, you know, all that. Another person I want to give a shout out to is Venus Williams. Venus has competed in a major in like for four decades. She uh, was bowed out of the U.S. Open, not bowed out, but she was beaten in the U.S. Open. But that woman, she showed up and she backhanded, right? So all of these women athletes, right? Sometimes I think of ourselves as athletes, right? We're beating athletes. You got to get up, take those walks, keep fighting, get up to fight another day. Those women have done it, right? So we're going to do it, right? So that's what we do. So a shout out to those women, a shout out to you, my friends, my women, my men, my non-gender conforming, whoever is out there, people power, right? Girl power at its finest. It is true. It's right. And um, yeah. So that's what I have. And on that note, I promise to get, if you're watching this on replay and you're like, Kate, get off your soapbox, just keep, keep, keep fast forwarding. I'm getting it too. I'm getting to it. Right. Right. So many, you know, I am living for the day when women's sports are just called sports, not women's sports. Right. Anyway, on that note, uh, at the retreat, uh, we had such a fantastic retreat, friends, right? Um, and my mom, bless her heart, you know, I like to make the bags, um, our gift bags, kind of cool. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I wish I, Donna, you're so funny. Go back and and, and watch it. I just, once in a while, I'll get up on that soapbox. I know, the volleyball game. I know, so much, so much. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to say it out, 
right? You just got to say what's in your heart. So that's what's in my heart right now. So here's something else. We're going to do a, um, a giveaway today to kind of celebrate because it's my birthday month, right? I'm going to talk about the monthly mix. I turn 57 years old on the 17th of September, 57. Woo. My fifties have been a whirlwind. I am grateful for every single freaking year that I am granted. Yeah, no, I know. I'm sorry. I forgot that. I know everyone's saying the volleyball team. I know the volleyball team, 92,000 spectators. Let's spike it, right? Let's do it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to spike those beads, right? So sometimes, you know, uh, when the going gets rough, we just have to count our blessings, right? So I don't know, toss them in. I know women in space, a Dane in space, it's, it's amazing times right now. So if you have something that you're thankful for, go ahead and toss them in the comments if you want. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see them. But the gift bags that I did for the retreat, we were super lucky. People, uh, you know, um, uh, gave us great stuff to, uh, throw in the bags. I commissioned my mom to make some notebooks. And so my mom, uh, loves paper crafting. Paper crafting is one of her, um, one of her loves that she does. And so we gave out these books, everybody, she made 25 of them all different. I kept, I kept mine. Uh, oh, I don't have mine sitting here. Oh no, I do. Mine, this is the one that I kept, I got to choose. I chose the cheetahs, the cheetah ones, which I kind of love. So what we're going to do at the end of the broadcast, we're going to do a giveaway. I've got three to give away to you all. And these are, whoops, sorry, sorry, my Siri just talked to me. Um, what my mom did with these books, she put one of her favorite sayings to put on notebooks that says, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. And that's for sure. You know, life is not perfect, but we find the beauty in things, including the beauty in beads. So it's really cool. So a shout out to my mama. It has a little place for post-its, has a little place for cards. It's got a pen. It has a, a notepad that you can change out there. So I'm going to give away three of these um, to commenters uh, at the end of the broadcast. So you're going to have to stick through there. And they all say life does not have to be perfect to be beautiful. So thank you, Mama, for making those for us. And um, I wanted to share the wealth with the three of you. So... Um, so that happened. Um, so let's take a look now at our projects, our project anyway, and big happy birthday to all of my September sisterin and brethren that are out there. Yeah, they're really inspiring. I love them. Um, she did such a, a beautiful job. Oh, and look at, I didn't even show you on the back. Look at that. They say beadshop.com. Isn't that darling? It's pretty darling. I love a brand. I love branding. Um, okay. So, uh, let me get this layout out. So now those of you who've been watching, we're going to get to the meat of this. Okay. So, uh, stay tuned at the end. We'll do the giveaways. A big shout out to everybody who's watching also on our different platforms. You know, I started out with my soapbox and I never really said where to find us or anything. So let me, let me do that here. Uh, you can find all of our live, uh, all of our bead shop related stuff on all of our socials on Facebook. You can join our, uh, Facebook group, um, uh, the bead table, uh, Follow us over on Instagram at uh, beadshop.com over on Pinterest. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification button on YouTube. And if you have any questions, folks, don't hesitate to uh, give us an email, a uh, shout out, send us over an email at info at beadshop.com. On social, we're live, we're everywhere at beadshop.com. So don't forget to hit that like, tag, share your projects that you've made with our stuff, or uh, we just love to see that stuff. Okay. So, uh, let me, uh, and we're going out 
um, on uh, all the different social, including my Kate Richburg YouTube channel. So a big hello to those of you who are watching on the Kate Richburg YouTube, um, also on the Great Beat Extravaganza YouTube. Um, it's great. Um, I saw something here. Joanne said something about Wendy. Um, she lived her life so beautifully. She was very, I was looking at her projects, man, really a lot of talent. So may she continue to, um, inspire us via her YouTube channel, etc. So we've got to love those people while we're, while we're all here, right? Life is short. Nothing's promised, right? So you folks are loving the monthly mix. So let me talk about that first. All right. This is called Lakeview. And whenever I do a monthly mix for my birthday, I usually like to do the September mix. I like to add, I, I like it to have some blue in it, right? Because blue, September, sapphire, right? Um, is, is September's color. And you can see, um, so I found a really awesome picture of this kind of a lake, whatever. Uh, and so I took my inspiration from that. I had to whittle it down. There were so many colors. I had some crazy colors and stuff in there, but I thought that this one was really, um, pleasing. So we also launched a new color. This is eight dash five Oh one. The 8-501, it's a new color that we're carrying. And let me find it. Um, I'm going to go to the homepage and I'm going to go to Lakeview and there's still some left. I know I made a lot, but I feel this is opaque avocado is what this is. I use one of my favorites, the 8-2075. Um, if you, let me share my screen with you because I think that sometimes when, because we only make a limited amount of these, right? We don't have a ton of them, um, but we, we make enough, right? For everybody to grab some um, at the beginning of the month. But we also have, oh, Donna, it was great to see you on here. Have a great rest of your day. Um, you can see here, it's on the page, uh, the monthly mix page, the available mix page. And you can see here, right down here, and they're all linked. So if and when we sell out of this mix, you can buy everything and make your own mix. Okay, but this is the new, the opaque avocado. This is the new one. Okay, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty, I think. But here's the spill of Lakeview. Now, just below it, we've got our new um, frosted opaque glazed rainbow. Um, some of them are sold out. Oops, Janice, we've got to get on that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good thing I clicked on this page. We'll get some more of those in, I promise. I know you loved them. So we'll get more of those in. Um, but I want to show you uh, what I'm going to do with these. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this monthly mix. So <laughs> Janice is probably scrambling on to get those seed beads as we speak. So, um, but they're really cool. I'm going to use these. Your uh, Janice is on it. She's reordering them. So, uh, you know, it's always supply and demand, friends. So thank you. Put yourselves on the notification list. Um, and don't worry. Uh, Terry, <laughs> I understand about your wallet being empty. Trust me, cash flow. But uh, the beads aren't going anywhere. The leather isn't going anywhere. So when you have your bead money saved up, we'll be here for you. So don't worry. Don't you worry. I can relate to that completely. Um, so let's take a look first at the piece. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm going to make here for you today. Um, let me zoom, zoom in. There we go. So I made these little um, beads that have the seed beads kind of wrapped around them. And they're kind of derivative of some other things I've been doing. I've kind of been on this wire and seed beads 
kind of kick lately, right? So you remember our friend, the, um, this big, let me zoom out here. I did it in a necklace and in the bracelet here. Well, now we're going to size it down and we're going to make the beads for it too. Okay. So this is the wire has wire underneath it. And so I, I wrapped it around the braided leather. Also new braided leather coming soon. I'm looking at it across the room. We're going to launch it in, this month. It's coming. So keep your eye out as well as a really nice new um, clasp is coming out for it. Um, I also did it with this one, this uh, necklace that I did here. That same technique is here and it's here shorter. And then I've done this here with the beads and I want to show you how I'm going to make those. This is with the 11 knots, but I'm also going to use some of the Lakeview. Um, and I have some of the flat leather because I want to show you um, that you could use this same technique with that flat leather. And I've got it right here. Okay, so we're going to play around with a few things there. So let me get on to uh, the bead section of this. And they're so fast and easy um, to make, right? So if you have wire and seed beads at home. You don't need for your order to wait for your order to arrive. This is the perfect weekend. Last official weekend of summer, right? Labor Day weekend here in the US. So you'll have some time to play around, right? I hope you will anyway. So um, let me get some wire and let's do this with the 11 knots first. And can you see here? Oh, thanks, Terry. It is the perfect. She's saying the sampler, this little short sampler is perfect for fidgeting with. And it is true. I just put them on a little length of 1.5 millimeter leather, and I've just made the little beads here. So let me show you. You already know how to do this, really. But let me show you. Okay. Here is, I've got some 24 gauge. I've got some 22 gauge. And I've got some 18 gauge. 18 gauge I'm going to put aside for now. Let me start with 24 and then we'll go over to 22. Okay. And this is just the, our pair of wire. Bare copper. You could use any color you wanted. Doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. And um, here's my 11 knots. And I just made a little mix. I dumped out a bunch of those 11s. And I just made a little mix of the new stuff. Um, and I promise we'll be getting those. They launched on Tuesday. So they, um, you folks loved them. So I promise they're coming back in as soon as we can get them. So it'll probably be about a week or so before you see them, maybe a little bit more. But you can uh, put yourself on the notification list. And if you put yourself on the notification list for things that you want, we are automatically alerted about what's out and how many people want them. So that also helps us make the decision about, you know, where to spend our limited funds. You know, unfortunately, we don't have uh, an unlimited amount of cash, though I wish we did. Um, I'm also putting that out there in the universe. You never know what's going to happen. But uh, here's our 11 knots right here. And we also have a terracotta one that I think I dropped somewhere. I don't know. I've got it here in the mix. So, um, but they're super pretty. And we also launched them. We have them in the eight dots as well. A couple of the eight dots we added, and then we added them in the sixes and just look at this rainbow frost in the sixes. They're so good. So happy, kind of happy colors that are kind of muted. Um, I just love them. <laughs> So I'm not going to even cut my wire quite off of the spool as of yet. I'm just going to put my beads on and I'm just going to kind of put them on in random order and I'm going to string them on my wire and we'll see how long we'll measure it. Then we'll see how long of a bead this is going to make. So this is 24 gauge that I'm using here. The 11 knots also fit on the 22. You could use 26 
if you felt like you wanted something thinner. But I feel that 24 is probably the thinnest you want to hold the armature, especially if you're using these beads. Let's say that you can use these in, um, let me get a little tighter in here. You could also use these to string, right? They don't have to go on leather. You could put these in with your, um, I don't know, strung pieces as well, right? You could string this on Softlex. Um, our friends at Softlex were so generous and sent everybody a really nice spool of Softlex for the retreat. And we thank them for that. Um, these would be fun, strung on colored Softlex and just have the colored Softlex showing too, right? Like a float. That would be great. Um, colored Softlex is something on our list of things that we need to add. There's always a new product that we have to add. Not that Colored Softlex is new. It's been around for forever. But, you know, got to weigh those decisions. See what we're going to get. But Colored Softlex is on our list for sure. So here we go. I've strung up some. Let me do just a few more. Let me take a look at the comments here real quick. Oh, this is a nice sentiment. I like, and thank you for throwing those gratitude sentiments in the comments. You know, as my buddy Candy Cooper would say, it's all about gratitude, right? I was talking to her earlier this week after we heard about Tierra Cast, and we started to count our blessings after we commiserated. <laughs> so that's always good. So, yeah. You know, it's a really good sentiment. I love it. So thank you, Shelly, for sharing. Um, oh, and your sweet blind cat is getting old. Yeah, isn't it? It's a bittersweet to see our pets through different stages of life, for sure. Let me get this last one on here. And let me measure. And see, I've got my ruler here. This is about three, I'm like four or five inch beads short of three inches. So let me make this three inches and then we'll see what kind of bead this makes for us. Okay, so if you'll remember in pieces past that I've done, like this one, I used, I think I used 22 gauge. I might've used 24. I don't know. I'd have to go back and check. Either will work. But these are six aughts that I used on here. Okay, and I wrapped them, wrap, wrap, wrap. These were those Tucson mixes I did. Um, and I think I use like the whole 10 ounce, 10 gram, sorry, not ounce, 10 gram tube for this. Um, and then I just wrapped it. And so the leather was the base. Here, I'm going to use something different as the base. I have a couple of things I want to show you. I've got a dowel here, like a metal dowel. And this measures, and you have something in your house that you can use for sure. This is almost like a two and a half millimeter outside diameter, outside diameter dowel. You could use a skewer, a barbecue skewer. I hope some of you are using your barbecue skewers for barbecuing this weekend. But this would work. I grabbed one of my stamps. This is my Sterling Silver uh, nine two. Or no, this is my this is my fine silver stamp that I stamp my pieces with when I make jewelry. Um, this makes a great armature. Let's see what diameter this is. It's just sitting over there. So it's a little more than six millimeters. So this is my, my stamp. You can sit there. Knitting needles would work for sure. Any knitting needle. This is an Allen wrench that I also had sitting on my bench, right? This Allen wrench would work. I also grabbed a pencil, right? This would make a big one. So any of those things, whatever you like, whatever floats your boat, right? The end of a paintbrush. All right, I've got a paintbrush right here. So, you know, whatever, whatever works. And so I'm going to get this one. It's this, this is the two and a half millimeter one here. So I'm going to start at the end. I still haven't cut my wire off my spool. Chopsticks would work for sure. Anything that you find that you like, right, will work. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to wrap the beginning, maybe about four wraps or so around here, let me zoom in a little, around this metal 
rod. There we go. And I'm just going to slide this up so that all three inches of these beads are here. And I'm going to hold tight at the end. Not too tight because you don't want the beads to scrunch up on themselves too tight. Scrunch up is a technical term. Now that I know about how much wire I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and cut this extra away from the spool so I don't have to hold it in my hand as I wrap. It'll be a little bit easier for me to handle. And now I will just continue to wrap it around this dowel, metal dowel. If you're doing this around wood, wood has a little more bite to it. So you want to make sure to test it if this is wood. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay in frame. Thank you, Janice, for the reminder. Um, uh, if it's wood, it uh, you just want to make sure that it moves around so you can get it off of the, of the dowel. This is kind of an awkward position. So um, it is, you know, this might even be a piece from the coiling gizmo. Um, I don't know. I had it in my tools. So, but yeah, it's very, very similar to that. So see, you can see here, there's my little bead. And let me measure this bead measures about seven eighths of an inch, just a little under an inch. Okay, so about three inches of beads gives you about an inch, including this wrap here of beads, a little less. Okay, and you can see the beads aren't super tight, but you don't want them to be super tight on the wire or else they might snap or pop. Okay, so I'm going to slide it off my metal rod. And I'm just going to clip away the ends here and here like this. Yeah, I like the wire, how the wire looks through the beads as well. Um, this is a great tip from Tina about her knitting needles from her mom. She uses specific, them specifically for this purpose, which I love. And you put corks on the tips so you don't stab yourself. That's super clever. I know I have a cork around here somewhere, and if I don't, I know where I can get one. <laughs> Wine bottle. I didn't say that out loud. I mean, not right now. Maybe later, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is Friday night, you know, or it will be Friday night. Um, so now what I can do is I can get my leather. Here's, this is 1.5 millimeter. And this fits perfectly right on there. Okay. So you can, I mean, look at how super simple that is. A perfect end of summer, like beachy thing to wear, right? What you can also do, the knots that I tied here, I went through once, once and twice this way. So many of you have jumped on. We have over 200 people watching. Lots of gratitude for that, friends. Thank you so much. I'm going to do, don't worry, we'll do that giveaway for those notebooks that my mom made. We're going to do it at the end of the broadcast, okay? So don't worry. I'll, I'll get to that. You folks have to sit through this. And it's only available on the live broadcast today. So, folks, if you're watching this on replay, right now it is 11.19 a.m. on the West Coast. We're live. But if we're not live and you've missed it, sign up for our newsletter and stuff like that, friends, because we uh, there's a... There's a photo of the notebooks and stuff in the newsletter today. So that's really how we keep in touch. Drea really does nice, nice work on those. So see, look at how nice that looks with just knotted. And you could float these on your leather cord. You could float them with other large hold beads. Um, our Ashanti saucers would look really cool with these, right? Um, and Karen, this is a really great tip here 
Um, I think using a rod that's around the same size as the leather you put them on will give you the best results. 100%, I agree with that tip. Thank you for pointing that out. That's great. Shelly says she's up at 4 a.m. to read our newsletter. Thank you for that. You know, I, I'm up early too. And I always check it to make sure it went out. So, yes. Um, let's make another and let's use the monthly mix on this. And can you see here are these that I did? I did some shorter ones. I did some longer ones with single colors and I banded the colors at the ends. Um, and I did some just single colors like this. Okay, so super easy. And you can make the, the coils here on the end as long or as short as you want, right? We've got some four millimeter leather that we're going to be um, debuting. Let me give you a quick sneaky peek of that. And then they do have a very African trade bead kind of feel to them. And you know, let me give credit where credit is due. African trade beads, and the African artisans from all of those African countries, in especially West Africa, Ghana, in in um, especially Ghana, where the, the bead makers, you know, they create so many beautiful beads. Um, Kenya, um, so many places where the these beautiful beads come from, and the beading traditions come from. You know, Emily just did an African helix bracelet um, for you folks on Wednesdays. So, you know, a big shout out without those African, sorry, I walked across. <laughs> Janice, well, where are you? Um, uh, without those inspirations, you know, we would be nowhere, right? I wanted to go grab um, those this four millimeter, because I wanted to show it to you. This is going to launch in just a few weeks. Um, this is the red brown. This is some, this is the, the medium brown, we call it. This is the leather cord um, that uh, Janice and I had made for us here at Bead Shop. It's a four millimeter. Look at how chunky that is. And look at how beautiful this will look with this technique. It's a little thinner. Here's the five millimeter braided, which we've got some coming up, but this is coming and it's just, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous leather, right? I can't wait. Um, again, a couple weeks, this is coming. Okay. But this brown is just perfect. Um, I'll make a bead out of this, the eight dots, and we'll wrap it around this, this four mil. Um, and I promise we will get more of that leather in. It just takes us a while. And I think you heard one of our packages. <laughs> Someone has a whole bunch of leather uh, somewhere. One of our packages went missing, but thankfully um, they're going to remake it and we'll have a whole bunch of, of new um, of new ones. So yeah, so Janice is asking, can't you just wire your beads around the four or five millimeter leather? We could on this right? I'm going to make it actually, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. I'm going to go around a pencil just to find it, just to see if it works. But that's what I did with this. I just wound the leather around, or the beads around the leather here. Um, and I think, Mary, you could use, uh, you could combine the 11 and 8s. I think you could combine all of them. Um, because remember with this one, here that I did, it has some four millimeter, um, some four millimeter fire polish and stuff like that. So I think you could mix them for sure, hundred percent. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And yes, there are findings for the larger leather. Um, let me let me see if I have one sitting here. I might as well sneak peek that for you as well if I have it. Keep looking at that leather. Fridays are a lot less loose, or a lot more loose, sorry, around here. <laughs> right? We like kind of, I'm across the room. If I sound far away, it's because I am, for sure. 
Let's see, I've got this one. Let me see if I can grab one more. Uh, maybe, no. Ah, here we go. Here they are. I think you're going to love, love, love all of these. These are the four mills that are coming. And again, we've got a, a launch date coming up. But see, look at, look at that one. Look at how pretty. And then I have this one here. Look at that round ball. That one's coming. So these are coming. Um, and I can look, I'll look up the date so you can, you can mark your calendars, but it'll be on the, um, it'll be in the newsletter and it's slated for release this month. So I know I love this round, this round clasp. I'm keeping one for me. Um, because this would really look great with just this leather and this clasp just in the front right? Super simple, really cool piece. Uh, okay, let's get back to the beads though, at hand. Um, I'm going to use 22 gauge for this, right? Uh, and here's the Lakeview monthly mix. 22. You could also use 20 if you wanted. Let me dump some of these out. Look how pretty that is if I do. Um, if I do say so myself, it has a few Picasso beads. I think it has a blue, does it have a blue Picasso or maybe it's just the green Picasso that's, no, it has the blue also Picasso. So two types of Picasso in here, that new avocado, some that have a little bit of shine to them. This matte um, cobalt blue. Um, I just really, I wanted something that kind of said fall, kind of said end of summer, like going to the lake at the end of the summer. Um, something that had blue because September has, you know, I associate it with sapphire. So that's um, all of that. Oh yeah, this bracelet, Sherry, it's on the website. Um, Janice, I bet you can find it and link it somewhere. Um, I did this, it's, a, it was on a few live broadcasts back. Um, we'll find it. I'll find it for you when I'm not beating or Janice or Gita can also find this, but the instructions are on the website. Essentially it is our, our, um, braided five millimeter, our five millimeter clasp, some kind of seed bead here whether it's the age check, I wrapped it here. This I wrapped with two millimeter leather, but you could wrap it with 1.5. And then I silk wrapped all of these ends down. So it's super fast and easy. So many people made this. I was so gratified that you folks loved this piece. There we go, sorry. Um, it's right there, Boho Bangles. There it is. I knew it, sorry, I didn't have the name in the front of my head. But the boho bangles are there, and you can make it into a boho bangle necklace, right? So there's a lot of ways that you can work with this. Let me make this just a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. All you need are seed beads and wire sometimes, you know? That's how I feel. So let me measure this length and see what we've got, okay? This is four, just shy of four and a half. Oh, Shelly made necklaces and earrings inspired by that bangle. I love it. You know, it's such a simple technique. And I'm certainly not the first person that's taken beads and, you know, put them on wire and wrapped them around. Um, so uh, you will, uh, you know, play, play around with it and come up with your own your own kind of look. So I'm going to wrap this around the, um, this stamp. This was like a six millimeter dowel here. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to start. I'm going to wrap it around like this. So I've got those three right there. 
Oh, Erica, it's your daughter's birthday the day before mine on 916. Well, tell me what it's your daughter. Tell me your daughter's name so I can give her a shout out. She's almost my birthday twin. I love it. So many of us have September birthdays, right? September was a good month for birthdays. Look at that. Look at how nicely this wraps around this wire. I would mean this dowel. This is a, what did I say? A little over six millimeters. And I'm making the ends a little bit longer. Sorry, this is four, four wraps right there or so. Olivia, happiest of birthdays, dear Olivia on the 16th. I love it. So here's this right here. So I'm going to slide this off. Donna, the big 7-0. Oh, my friend. You share a birthday with my best friend, Christine. Her birthday was yesterday as well. So happiest of birthdays to you. I'm going to cut away this excess. And here. So see how large that hole is in there like this? And I'm going to just unwind it just a little bit to puff it out in the center. Just a little. Okay. So many birthdays. Just about your mom's birthday today. Happiest. Of, but we're just going to celebrate the whole month. There's so many September birthdays. I love it. So here's this. Let's put it on the four mil. And look at how cool that just slides on. The thing that I like about not winding it around the leather is that you can um, slide it like this, right? I, I like that feeling. And look at this. Let me, let me cut this so it's straight across. It will really look great. We also have these in a coppery color. Let me see if... I think I just grabbed the silver, but we have it in the copper as well. All right? So how fun would that be? So anyway, so that's upcoming. But these, you could make a whole bunch of these. I love how this kind of slides. And can you see how when I unfurled it a little bit like this, like that, right? It kind of puffed out a little bit right? To make it a little more bead shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is really true. September is nine months after Christmas. So you know what's going on there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's true. It's true. The holidays put you in a festive mood, right? Um, I love it. Oh my gosh. So this wire size, this is 22 gauge right here. I also have some 18 gauge and let me show you a little bonus for this. And while I do this bonus here, um, and yeah, it's my grandma, my grandma Leona, or Zephyr, uh, it was her Armenian name, Zephyr Leona. Uh, grandma's birthday was also the 16th. We would always uh, celebrate our birthdays together. So it's really true. Um, so for now, let's, I'm going to get to this wire bead, but for the giveaway, let me put myself up here. For the giveaway, what we're going to do is we're going to do them live here on the air. If you've done a giveaway before this, um, you know how that goes. What you'll do is, uh, and this uh, giveaway uh, will be um, only today live, accepted today live on Friday, September 1st. 2023. If you're watching this on a replay, I'm sorry that you missed the giveaway, but sign up for our newsletter, folks, so you know when stuff like this happens. So what you're going to do is you are going to, in the comments, uh, you're going to put in hashtag note, okay? And I'm going to actually set this up real quick here. Um, hashtag note you can put hashtag note in the comments as many times as you want, but 
it's only going to record your um, your entry once. Okay, if that makes sense. So, yep, you guys have got it. Hashtag note. Perfect. That's in there and it is coming up. Now, if you are at the retreat, let me just ask you this. I know it's tempting, but if you are at the retreat and already received a book, I would gently ask to let someone who wasn't at the retreat win. Just a gentle ask. I know they're so tempting, right? So um, so that's what we want to do. Hashtag note. Hashtag note. Okay. And yeah, Denise, it looks like you need to re... Uh, Denise put in note, which is awesome, but we need that hashtag in front of it. So re-comment, Denise, needs that hashtag because then the um, giveaway tool... Um, the giveaway tool records it. Okay. So while you are hashtagging and commenting, let me show you how to make this other bead. Okay. So, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> this is 18 gauge. I'm going to cut off, I'm going to cut about eight inches here. This might be a little bit long, but we'll see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this out with um, some round nose pliers. And I'm going to make an open loop here at the end. Like this. And that's going to be the interior of my spiral. You've seen me do this before, I think. Now I'm getting chilly. I have to put my sweater back on. Sorry. Um, this is a really good question that Liza has. Are the ends of those wires, are the ends of those beads sharp because the wires? What I'm using, um, Liza, is a um, flush cutter. So the flush cutter gives me, I'm tangled, now I'm tangled in my sweater. The flush cutter gives me a nice um, flush straight across cut. Okay. So you can, um, it'll have a nice straight cut without a point. And you can also use a little file if you want to file down that point, but it's not real sharp at all. If we do it with a flush cutter. Okay. Oh, Alice, we'd love to have you back to the retreat. He's moving to San Jose. Can you say retreat 2024? I sure can. I sure can retreat 2024. Uh, where's that wire that I was working with? Did it fall on the ground? I had to put my sweater on. Now I've lost the wire. Uh, okay. I'll just cut another piece of wire. I have no idea. It vanished into the ether. Maybe it's caught on my sweater. So eight inches. I'm going to make the loop on the interior to start my spiral like so. And now I'm gonna spiral up this wire, okay? And I'm doing this loop in the center so I can get some cord or something in there. And I'm gonna spiral, I can also do it with my hands, about half the wire, okay? About like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. This might be a little bit long. I'm going to do my open spiral in the middle. And spiral it up. And so what I've made here is like a little figure S kind of a a piece and you want to make these meet in the middle and you want your spiral to be about equal in size okay like that okay Kathy knows what I'm doing terribly clever 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 
Yeah, Terry, you just got to get your patience in there. Yep, just sit yourself down, make some spirals. So now what I do is I'm going to use my round nose pliers to kind of push those spirals out a little bit. So they collapse up going in the same direction, kind of like a Madonna brassiere. You remember those days when she wore those, right? Then you fold that Madonna brassiere in half right? So the two sides come together. I think that was a Cherry Mugler design, or maybe it was a Jean-Paul Gaultier. I think that's might have been who it was, a Gaultier. And you have this nice little cage bead just like that, okay? That's it, okay? So now what you do, and this is that four millimeter I tried to make it fit through there. I probably should have checked it, but check it out how this goes. Right? Like that. And you can kind of put them around a little bit, but see how that stays on there. Look at how cool that is. Yeah, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yeah, that's who it was. It was a Gaultier design. He did all our suits and everything for that tour. Looks so cool. That was way back in the day. Um, but look at how cool these look. So you could kind of, you know, do that kind of a feeling with it as well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how these are kind of coming out. So remember, you can make them smaller around leather. This is with 24 you can make them with 22. I think this one right here is with 22. This one is with 18 here. Uh, this one I think was with 22. You can make this uh, Madonna bra bead uh, with also with 20. I think 22 might be a little thin, but you can make them smaller too. So you could do it a little smaller that way. So but play around with your wire gauges, you know, and see what works. Get your 18. This is 24. This is 22. I'm missing 20. Um, yeah, hashtag Madonna bra bead. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's exactly right. Madonna bra bead. Perfect. <laughs> it's true. Um, okay, so let's get to... Uh, the giveaway, shall we? Let me share my my screen here. Um, I'm going to stop sharing that screen, and I'm going to share this screen. Okay, we've got 122 entries, which is awesome, as you can see there. So here are the notebooks, and let me just do this. And I'm just going to do these in kind of random order. These are the notebooks that my mama made. This will be this will be for the first one with this butterfly on it. With the here's the post-its and the pen, everything here. So this will be the first one. So make sure, folks, if you're commenting, it has the hashtag over it. So Christy recomment with a hashtag in front of the note so it looks like um diana's comment there okay and then what you're going to do after you win you're going to email email me in and I'll, i'm going to send those out so uh first one let's go ahead and draw great we've got 132 entries let's draw the first one so our first winner, Janice. <laughs> Janice, you already have one. I think she was showing people how to do it. So Liz, you are the winner. So this one here, I'm going to write it on the post-it, or I'm going to write it on here. This is for Liz. Liz Webb. So Liz, what you're going to do is you're going to email your um your mailing address right here to info at beadshop.com okay so this one is for liz 
Let's go to a next one. We're going to draw the next one. We'll see who wins. And this one is for, this one will be for this one. This kind of cool kind of quilt inspired one. Sandy, this is yours. Oh, look at how nice. That also says on the inside, let us roam among the wildflowers. And it looks like it has the Grand Canyon in it. Isn't that pretty? I should zoom out so people can see these a little bit better. There we go. So that is for Sandy. Oh, who's texting me? Sandy Osborne. Okay, that goes to you. And then last but not least, we'll draw for this one with the flowers. It's got a little bit of sparkle, sparkle, very pretty, Mama. Look at that with the little bird in the cage in there. That needs to go right in there, the pen. There we go. Uh, let's draw for this one. Tina, you are the winner. Tina Gleason. All right. So if you email me, I'll get those right out to you as your little gift. Congratulations, everybody. They're so awesome. I hope you enjoy them. We need a little bit of happy times today, right? So this broadcast, it's been kind of long, but I wanted to just share happy times with you today, right? So um, we did some wire with the monthly mix, some wire beads. We shared some other tips and techniques. We talked about what was going on in the bead world. So you can kind of, if you came in late, you can watch the beginning, all this announcements, right? Oh, Tina, your grandchildren call you Birdie. Well, it's perfect then. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Good, good. Um, so I want all of you all to have a really fantastic weekend. Watch your newsletters, but stay positive, right? All we have in life, folks, is our positivity. So let's just go and do our best, right? Um, I did want to mention, um, oh, my mom, <laughs> my mom is saying thank you. Yeah, well, you never know. My mom, maybe she'll make something else. You never know, right? Um, I want to share uh, the home screen just to let you folks know. Let me, whoops, that's not the right screen. Uh, here we go. Uh, share, I want to share this one. And yeah, Ma, people want a live broadcast with you sharing. <laughs> sharing what you're doing with those things. Um, here's a for Happy Labor Day. Folks, we do have a Labor Day coupon that's going on. It goes through now, I think through Monday. Um, if you opened your newsletters, friends, can you see here on our home screen how it says take 20% off storewide with Relax 20? Those of you who opened your newsletters have a bonus, a bonus coupon that's a little bit more. It's 25% off. I'll tell it to you because you're watching me, but make sure if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, go ahead and sign up for the newsletter because you get little bonuses and stuff like that. The coupon code from the newsletter is relax25. Okay. You didn't hear it from me. All right. So you can apply that to all of your uh, purchases here at beadshop.com. Oh, my mom wants to see a close up of my, I'll show these sometime. It's my little moth I made here. You've seen it, Ma. Um, okay. Remove that. I'm going to remove this. 
Um, I'm going to remove this banner and say happy Labor Day to those of us in the U.S. who kind of celebrate. It's kind of our benchmark end of summer. Um, looking forward to fall. Uh, I'm looking forward to fall and sharing a bunch of fun fall projects with you. Um, and uh, they are not uh, one-use coupons, Mary. They're good on every order you place now through when it uh, expires. I think it's Monday at midnight. Okay. So it's not a one use. I, I don't think it is. Uh, I'm almost sure it's not. Um, thank you, Diane, for your support. You know, every time you folks make a purchase with our small business, a joy, a, a, like a, a thrill of joy, Run appreciate your support of our small business. Don't forget, you can hit that like, subscribe, notification on YouTube. Join us on uh, Facebook, on our Facebook group, The Bead Table. Hit us up on Instagram, on Pinterest, and any questions, especially those of you who want, uh, send us your info uh, at info at beadshop.com. I will see you on Wednesday. It's uh, time for our next uh, part of our series on Kate's master class. That'll be on Wednesday. Um, we're going to play around with some more techniques. I also have something to share uh, that was really fun that one of our um, retreat uh, uh, attendees, Denise, sent me um, that I'm going to share with you um, on Wednesday. It's a little book about Helen Dietz. So we'll take a look at some of her pieces that she's made there on Wednesday as well. So safe weekend, everyone. Uh, the coupon code, Kathleen, you apply it when you check out. It has a little bit, you have a whole list in your cart of what it is. Then there's a little box there that says apply coupon code. I think you could also apply a gift card if you had it there, but it's there. Okay, so you'll see it. If for some reason you forgot it, you're like, oh, I've already made my order, just shoot us an email um, and we will, Drea will be back uh, on Tuesday. We're closed on Monday. Um, she'll be back um, and she will um, uh, retroactively apply it. Okay, uh, as long as you email her within this time. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Hang in there, friends. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Go September birthdays, and I will see you on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.